A Columbia County tradition returning and exceeding pre pandemic numbers. The Renaissance Jamboree exploding in its turnout in downtown Bloomsburg. Fox 56's Joshua Coulomb was in Bloomsburg for the annual Jamboree and now joins us live in the news center. Josh, today's turnout was the best they've seen in almost five years. Yes, Raylan, a portion of Main, West Main Street was cut with over 150 vendors, food trucks, and organizations. They have not th had this many vendors since 2019. So the pandemic put a, a kibosh on a lot of the things we did. Uh, we had some street construction one year. We had to move it down by the river. And now it's back downtown. And since it's been here a couple years, it's really thrived. A tradition that started in the late 70s to fundraise for trees has grown into a large festival on the last Saturday of April. And despite the weather, many people came out to have a great time, including Jagger's Doggy Deli. We love it. We love, it. We love being here. We love seeing all the people and all the dogs. We have a lot of repeat customers. We love them all. The Jamboree also had entertainment for all ages. And the original idea of fundraising being a core part continues, as all food vendors have to be part of or benefit a nonprofit. Boy Scout Troop 20 sells grilled food at the Jamboree annually and says this is one of their biggest fundraisers of the year. Yeah, so it's kind of like being back home, right? We're back on Main Street. Uh, we're back in a new location. Um, it's a little bit difficult today with the weather, a little bit slower. But on a nice sunny day, it's a, it's a big hit. Uh, we had down by the river a couple years ago, and uh, that was neat, a new venue. Um, but we're glad to be back downtown. Troop 20 says the funds help the scouts grow, but also helps the community as well. So it's really a great part of uh, being part of Bloomsburg, being part of the local area. Um, our scouts are very active. We have a lot of activities that we do, not just trips, but also helping out in the community. We help out with the town park and their, uh, some of their cleanup days, some of their ice cream and, and cake festival. Now the Renaissance Jamboree won't be back until next year, but downtown Bloomsburg is hosting First Friday next week. Reporting live, Joshua Cool, Fox 56 News, first to 10.